I wanted to show you guys some of our uh, perennial beds that we have here. This one right here uh, is horseradish. And I was kind of worried about this section because this whole area from where you can see to the tree line there all the way down to the dumpster area is usually got like, you can see there's like a lip It's higher over there by maybe four feet. But anyway, this fills with water. And <clears throat> during the winter time, although I planted all these great perennial crops in here, my big fear was that uh, the frost would come in and everything would freeze and there was all this water on top of everything when I came back in. And I just figured, you know what, there's like four inches of ice right now and my crops are underneath. I'm thinking that everything kind of died. But it didn't. Check this out. So, this is horseradish right there. Another one right there. Uh, just so you know, it's right here. Losi's checking it out because she thinks I'm... Losi, it's just recording. I'm not showing you something. And then, uh, there's a whole bunch more. Planted them in lines, so... Let's see, there's two right there. So that's one thing. We have horseradish. Then, <clears throat> over here, strawberries. And the cool part is, is... I don't know if you could see this, but like, right where this line is right here and over, was not planted. And then the rest of the section from here over to where those black pots are, was planted with strawberries. So it's about, you know, 200 strawberry plants or more. Um, they were under ice, they survived. Some of them are kind of small like that, but then you got some random ones like this one in the new area, real big. They're like in the mound, but the mound stayed out of water, obviously. So maybe the frost part just kind of slows down the growth. So, strawberry survived underneath ice too. Then, I have, well, of course, I gotta show you guys these two. This is a chives line. These are all pots of onions that were saved. Um, basically, they were in the field at the end of the year. They weren't big enough. They kind of were crapping out, and we left them there. And then they came back with a vengeance. Oh, I can hear Lucy barking. Oh, she's got a couple bears. Let's go see the bears. I'm ADHD kicking it and everybody. Look at this too. Gray bear going into action. He's just so fat. Good boy, Grady. Yeah, well, there's a run. I'm hoping I can get them on film for you guys. We have so many bears. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to get them on film. They're right here. I'm going to walk up right up to them. Hold on, Lo. You can't get through the wall. we got to go to the open area. Alright, i got to close the camera because it's going to take me a minute to walk around, but we're going to try and get right underneath the bears. No. Losi. Losi, leave it. A lot of bears here, guys. A lot of bears. Oh, wow. There's three cubs and a mama. And man, is she pissed. Losi, stay back. Get back, Lala. Losi! Losi! Losi, leave it! Leave it, leave it, leave it! Whoa, that was close. Mama, get up the tree, man. Get up the tree. She's right there. The cub's right here. She's one of them. Losi. Mama's pissed. Come on. Let's go. Losi, come on. Losi, come. Good girl. Very good job. You did a good job. Come on. Losi, leave it now. Come on, leave it now. Let's go. Yeah, so back to the perennial crops. My dog does her job right. That was kind of scary. You notice that she's fighting on three legs too because her legs uh, got a crucial tear and she's building up scar tissue, whatever the doctor said. So I opted out of the surgery. I had a friend whose dog did the surgery and I had to deal with the recovery because I took care of the dog and it is miserable for a dog to live with. And since there was an option, I just figured let's build up some scar tissue. So we'll see where that, where that takes us and 
if she needs a surgery, I will give it to her, but time will tell. She's doing better, but when she runs hard, she hurts, you know, the next day. So anyway, this is a uh, rhubarb. And I have little plants all in a row. I think I got like eight of them in this patch. There's another one right there. Uh, there's a rhubarb. Yes, that's another one that made it underneath the frost. Then here's another crop right here. Um, this is asparagus. This is its first year. Um, pretty happy to see. You see the little asparagus shoots here? A little asparagus shoot. We're just gonna eat that. Okay. They're hard to get in focus because they're little. There's another one. So they can obviously deal with a little bit of a frost. But, uh, yeah, that's that. I'll show you guys the bee box real quick. We're waiting for our bees to come. They were honestly supposed to be here a week and a half ago. I don't know what's up with that. But uh, on the topic of bear protection, I had the boys build me a bear box and the door fell off, so we had to move the door. So now the door's all jacked up and too high up. But basically, this is my top bar bee box. It's ready for installation. <laughs> a little cage system here. But yeah, bee box. That's where the food will be kept. I'll have to put new food in there now because now that's got to be fucking rancid because that was a week and a half ago and nothing's eating it with sugar, water, uh, one to one ratio. So like a cup of sugar and a cup of water. This main area here is where they make the hive cells. And then what they tell you to do is, you, here's the third hole. I blocked that one off because um, you want to create space where they don't build and that's what this one is for. This is like a solid one where this one has a hole through it so the bees can get to the food too. But this space here, um, you don't want them to fill it all the way otherwise eventually when they come all the way down here it'll seal it. So what you do is you keep a couple cells like this one or that one um, unutilized so that you can get in there and cut it away. So that's so you don't screw yourself. But that's the top bar. But hopefully the bees come very shortly. I don't know what the hell's up with that. But yeah, perennial crops, bear tech, bee box, a day on the farm.